Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up Samsung Pay on your Galaxy Watch and how to add debit or credit card for contactless payments. Also, some important settings you should do. So, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, guys. Also, like this video. Let's begin. So first up you need to do some settings on your bank's debit or credit card. Make sure your bank supports Samsung Pay. Now in my case I am using the Kotak bank. So you need to open an app or web portal to do some settings. Now generally we have something called the card section. So go into the card section and here choose your debit or credit card. And here you need to do a couple of settings. Go into the card controls here. We need to enable a couple of features or settings that are usually turned off by default. As you can see the last two options, tokenized payments and also the contactless payments. These are usually turned off but you need to enable these two things. Also just in case make sure the second option POS is also enabled. Now the next step is optional but it is recommended. You need to set limits for contactless payments since this is a new tech you might want to keep the limits as low as possible in my case i am keeping this around 2000 the idea is not to put large amounts just to be on the safer side so once you are done with the steps you may also get a notification or an sms from your bank stating that you have made certain changes so now let's head over to the next step open the samsung pay application on your phone and make sure you are registered here and once you do that you can go ahead and add a credit or debit card here so you can either scan the card or you can use the nfc or add manually so here i am choosing the nfc option just take the card and put it on the back of the phone just like so and your card details will be fetched automatically but you still need to enter your name and the cvv so make sure you do that so once you do that you need to agree to the terms and uh, you need to verify this change uh, via SMS, email or calling a bank, you will have the options over here. So in my case, I am choosing the SMS to verify this change. So you'll get a verification code via SMS and you need to enter that and you're almost pretty much done. Now the next step is to add these cards onto your watch. Now press down on the back button of your watch and here you are guided through some tutorial but you will be prompted to install the watch plugin samsung pay watch plugin onto your phone if you can install this from play store it's well and good but if you cannot for any reason then you can also sideload from third party sources personally i chose to download it from apk mirror you know it's your choice so i leave it that to you guys so once you install this watch plugin then you need to simply repeat the same process press down on the back button and this time it will show up the screen and here this is where you start setting up samsung pay on your galaxy watch now you need to allow some permissions for this to work and uh, you can see samsung pay has popped up now i have also gotten some update to the samsung pay on the watch as you can see so give it some time and once it is fully updated you can repeat the process and this time around samsung pay will pop up and you need to sign in once it is done, you are prompted with a couple of options either to add debit or credit card or to import the cards. Here in my case, I have already added a card. So I'm going to import the card onto the watch. This will take just a few seconds and you need to activate the card again. And here you will be also prompted to set up the pin. And this is very important. You will have to enter this before every payment. So once it is done, now the final step is to enter the CVV and the same details that we have shown in the earlier steps. And once it is done, also verify this again uh, via SMS or whatever that you choose to. So this marks the end of setting up your Samsung Pay on your Galaxy Watch. And when you open the Samsung Pay on your watch, you can see the card details here. So if you found this video helpful, please like this video guys. Also subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.